All right, this video here is definitely going to uh, help somebody out. So if you want to convert your golf cart to a lithium, uh, you're probably using lead acid batteries right now when you want lithium because lithium lasts a long time. It's a lot lighter as far as the weight. Uh, be very, very careful because I went through four controllers. These are all toast and burnt up. And the reason for that is, so uh, these are designed for lead acid batteries. And lead acid batteries have a limit on the current that they provide. Normally they're like six or eight volt and you put them in series to make 48 volts or 36 volts. And uh, each battery probably provides, you know, 200 amps, let's just say 200 amps of current. It can probably do a little bit more at like peak and it kind of tapers off. But let's just say 200 amps just for simplicity. And uh, so the controller is rated for 400 amps. So it can definitely handle 200 amps with no problem. And everything works and everything's good. But, so here's, here's my scenario. I put lithium batteries into my cart. So there's, uh, there's a little, there's four here, there's two here, and there's four there. So these are 48 volts. These are lithium batteries from a server backup. I got these used. And they are 300 watt hours. They have um, Panasonic cells inside. And the type of cell uh, that's inside, uh, they're, they are wired. I forget how they're wired, but there's, there's four of them uh, in, the, in parallel. And then like I think 13 or 14 in series. So these can do 100 amps easily. You know, for like first five seconds and it starts tapering off a little bit. So I have 10 of them. So theoretically, if the motor wants 1,000 amps, these batteries will be able to give the motor 1,000 amps. And the problem is, the motor does want 1,000 amps. But since these controllers were rated for, you know, 400, they were designed for a lithium battery. Sorry, they were designed for a lead acid battery. All of that amp... Uh, supply or pull to the motor is too much for these controllers and they burn up because there's not a current limit limiter inside there and this all tracks it has a little current limiter like whenever you plug it into the computer and you start playing with the settings there's a setting here to limit the current i thought i saw it in there oh yeah max armature amp wait sorry Okay, max motoring armature amps. So you can you can you can put it up to uh, 400 amps, uh, and it will send maximum of 400 amps to the motor. So it kind of limits limits the number of amps that are going through the controller. But on these um, Curtis controllers, I, I didn't find that, and and all four of them burnt up because the motor wanted too much current, and the battery was able to provide it. So it pulled that current from the batteries to the motor through the uh, solenoids, through the controller, and the controllers were the bottleneck, so they burnt up. And that's the reason why I have two solenoids is because uh, one kept overheating and got hot and it would stick. So I had to use two wired up in parallel. So now um, my solenoid does not stick anymore. Uh, so just keep in mind, I guess to wrap this up, Keep in mind that if you want lithium batteries, make sure that the total amps that they can provide, the solenoids and the controller can handle. Because with current, the electricity, electricity gets pulled. So when the motor pulls electricity, if they're available in the battery, they're gonna get they're gonna get the electricity is going to get pulled through the solenoid and the controller to the motor. And if anything's a bottleneck, whether it's your cables, the solenoid, the controller, whatever the bottleneck, that's going to get overheated and you're going to start smelling plastic, you're going to start smelling um, rubber. So just be careful and uh, plan, make plans before you upgrade anything because, um, you know, these carts were designed for lead batteries. Um, lithium is, is new, it's been around, you know, it's not as common, it's getting more common now. Um, but just make sure that the controller you get can handle lithium and this all tracks one definitely does uh, the links are down below if uh, if anyone's interested i would really recommend it 
it um, there's tons of on the Altrex website there's tons of um, manuals and how to program it and the programming is so easy like I had such a hard time programming the Curtis controllers first of all you have to buy the software then you have to buy the special proprietary cables that only basically only the dealers really have or can get access to uh, because it's so expensive I mean why would you want to buy it for buy it if you can only, only use it once you know uh, but these Ultrax controllers, they just come with a standard USB type B cable right there. And uh, I mean, everybody has one of those cables. And, and, it, and it was recognized instantly. As soon as I plugged it into the computer, the computer recognized it right away. But with these Ultrax, I had to download the drivers for the cable. It was a pain trying to get these things programmed, but I finally was able to do it. All right, well, hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, yeah, check out the links if you want to upgrade to an awesome controllers. And then be careful when you upgrade from lithium because if the motor wants a lot of amps and the batteries can deliver it, the motor is going to pull it out of the batteries and it, the, all of that power will go through the solenoids and will go through the controller and just make sure that those two things can handle it. Okay, thanks.